Hello everyone, it's Judia and you welcome to Smart Watch Series. So guys, I have the Galaxy Watch 7 right before me and in this video, I'm going to be connecting this to my Android phone. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is to turn this on and to turn this on, I'm going to press and hold on to the upper key with the red marking on it. Okay, so this is coming up. Now while this is coming up, I want to state the system requirements for the Galaxy Watch 7. The Galaxy Watch 7 and Ultra require Android phones running on android 11.0 and above and have at least 1.5 gigabyte to ram and above right the watch is now turned on and to set this up i need the galaxy wearable app if you don't have the galaxy wearable app simply go to google play store and search for galaxy wearable to install it on your phone once you have installed that simply tap on it and i'm going to select my language english okay i'm going to go ahead and choose my country and that is nigeria then i'll click on restart so guys the galaxy Watch 7 has just restarted the next thing i'm going to do right now is to go ahead and tap on start on my phone and then i'm going to tap on confirm to pair the two devices all right the next thing that is happening right now is that the galaxy wearable app is downloading the Galaxy Watch 7 plugin. All right, the plugin has successfully been downloaded. The next thing I'm gonna do right now is to sign in to my Samsung account. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click on skip. All right, I have successfully signed in to my Samsung account. I'll tap on agree to proceed. Okay, for two-step verification, you can go ahead and add your phone number and i'll go ahead and choose what you want okay i will just simply tap on I agree to all and tap on continue to proceed okay it says allow glassy watch server manager to manage you all right allow and then it says allow glassy watch server manager to assess this device location while using the app okay allow now all of these permissions are very necessary if you wish to get the best experience in terms of features with your Galaxy Watch 7. So go ahead and choose what you want to allow. Allow access to your phone calls. This will allow you to answer calls on the watch. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to assess your contacts. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to find, connect to and determine. Okay, this is very important. Just in case you misplace this, you can use that to locate where the watch is. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to make and manage calls. Very important if you wish to handle calls on the watch. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to send and receive, send and view. Okay, go ahead and allow that if you wish to manage SMS messages on the watch. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to assess photos and media. So we have granted the necessary permissions to the Galaxy Watch 7 and now this is connecting to the phone. And the next thing I need to do right now is to sign in into my Google account. You need to sign in into Google account to be able to install the apps from Google Play Store and as well as enjoy all of Google's apps and services on the Galaxy Watch 7. You can choose to do this now or you can do this later on the watch so I'll simply go ahead and sign in to my google account and then the next thing i need to do is to go ahead and read through the terms of services of um, google okay if you're okay with this go ahead and tap on agree to proceed so guys we have the option to choose apps that you wish to install on the watch from here i'm going to tap on skip okay i'm going to install all of this later on and then you have the option to automatically back up the watch I'm going to enable this, okay? If you wish, go ahead and toggle that on and tap on next. And here you have the option to set your wearing preference. Um, I'm going to be wearing this on my left wrist, so next. I'll tap on next to proceed. Okay, it says um, check your body's battery level. Next. So these are more features of the Galaxy Watch 7. Okay, double pinch. Next. Get help in an emergency. Okay. So there are a whole lot of features that you can enjoy on the Galaxy Watch 7. And now it is finishing up. So guys, we are all set. The Galaxy Watch 7 here has successfully been connected to my Android phone. So guys, I will just go ahead and take a quick tour of the features here. Start. Swipe down from the top. Okay. So that's a quick panel. Swipe back to go back to the watch face. Next. Swipe up. To assess a list of apps, swipe down to go back to the watch face, check your notifications, swipe right, tap on it to read your notifications, swipe back to go back, and then swipe left to go back to the home screen. Okay, swipe left to assess your ties, press the home key 
to go back to the home screen. So guys, now that we've taken a quick tour of the interface of the Galaxy Watch 7, we are going to set up a few features. To change the watch face is very easy. Okay, simply press and hold on to the home screen and navigate to where it says add watch face, tap on this. And from here, you can see all of these are the preloaded watch faces on the watch. And if you want even more watch faces, simply go ahead and tap on this to go to Google Play Store where you can find more watch faces. I'm going to go with this watch face. Okay, I'll just tap on this. Now this becomes the watch face of the watch. Okay, and if you wish to install apps, scroll to access the app menu. Okay, and go to Google Play Store. Remember, we have already signed into Google Play Store. Okay, if you have not, you'll be prompted to do that here. And then I will just simply go ahead and yes, I'm in to agree to the terms. And from here, you can search for your favorite apps and install it to the Galaxy Watch 7. And the last thing we're going to do is to enable notifications. I'll simply swipe up and go to settings. Then I'll go to notifications and I'll go to where it says show phone notifications on watch. Okay, tap on that and it says um, show alerts when phone not in use. I think that's the preferred option to save battery life. So go ahead and select that option. And if you wish to select the apps you wish to receive notifications from, tap on app notifications. And from here, go ahead and tap on manage on phone. And this will open up the app notifications. Okay, from here, you should see all the apps you have installed on your phone. So go ahead and toggle on the apps you wish to receive no notifications from. And guys, that is about pairing the Galaxy Watch 7 to your Android phone. And that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, smash the subscribe button until next time. Goodbye.